Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, we will look into another type of controller that is model reference controller. So the complete structure for how this controller will be developed is shown on the screen. So as the name suggests, in this case we will have our reference model and then we will design a controller that will control our plant to follow that reference model. So in this case also we will have two steps. The first step will be this plant identification and the second step will be designing the controller. So as you can see in the figure, first we have a plant of which we will create a neural network plant model. Then we have a NN controller block. It has three inputs. One is the delayed reference inputs. Second is the delayed controller outputs and the third is delayed plant outputs. So in this case, we will have two neural networks. First will be for plant and the second will be for the controller. The figure on the screen shows how our controller will look like when built in Simulink. So type in mref robot arm in the MATLAB command window and this will open a Simulink model that makes use of the model predictive controller. So first let's look which plant we are using. So this is the figure of the plant that we are using. This is a single link robot arm and the equation governing its motion is shown on the screen. And the equation at the bottom represents the reference equation of the reference model that we would like our robot arm to follow. Double click on the plant and as you can see these are the same equation governing the motion of the robot arm. Right click on the controller and click on open in new tab. This is how our controller will be built. So we have our NN plant. Right click on it and click on open in new tab. So this is the basic time series model of our plant. Right click on NN controller and click on open in new tab. So as already said, it has three inputs and then we have the neural network structure for this controller that will eventually give the output of the control signal. So double click on it. It will open this window. So as a first step, we require to identify the plant. Click on plant identification. And this is the same window as discussed for the other controllers. Click on generate training data. The data will be generated that is the input and target for creating a neural network plant model will be generated. After the data is generated, click on accept data. Here you can specify the size of the hidden layer, the number of delays for, for the plant inputs and the plant outputs. Here I am using the training function as train LM and the number of epochs are set as 300. So click on train network. The network will be trained using the LM algorithm. The plant output and the NN output graph should be identical. If they are so, then the network is trained good and you should click on OK or apply. Now we need to train our controller. So in this case also, we can specify the number of hidden layer neurons, the number of delays for the reference input and the controller outputs, as well as the number of delays for the plant output. So I will be generating about 6000 training samples for training the controller and this is just the setting the maximum and minimum value for our random reference signal. So click on generate training data and wait till the data is generated. After the data generation is completed, click on accept data and click on train controller. As you would have seen, the training has taken place in segments. This is because the controller neural network is a recurrent neural network and it will involve dynamic bare propagation, which is very slow. So what we do is to create the segments of the whole training data and train them individually. You can also click on use cumulative training before clicking on train controller if you want to add each segment to the training data. After the training is complete, click on OK or Apply and then click on Run. After the simulation is complete, we will see two signals. The red is our reference signal and the blue signal is the output of our plant. So as we can see, the blue line is trying to follow the red line. Now we can also create the controller in the MATLAB script. So what we will do 
is that we will create the neural network figure which is shown on the top of the screen by using simple neural network MATLAB commands. So this is the MATLAB script for creating a model predictive neural network controller. So first we will import the robot arm dataset. Then we are creating the input delays and the feedback delays for creating the plant neural network model. We also give the number of hidden layer neurons equal to 5. Now since this is a NaxNet we are using, so we use the command NaxNet. In this case we will use all the dataset as training, so we keep the dividing function as nil. And also we do not need to do any processing for this example. Then we prepare our network by supplying it with the input and the target. And then after that we train the network and then close the network that we have created. So before going any further, let's run this code and see what's happened. So first we have created the neural network for the plant model, which is shown by the NAX neural network at the bottom of the window. So we supplied it with one input, give it a number of hidden layer neurons as 5 and obtain one output. Then in the above figure, we have created a recurrent neural network. So the third hidden layer and the output layer together are equivalent to our plant neural network model. You can also see that the third hidden layer and the output layer look similar to our bottom figure. And the first hidden layer and the second hidden layer together represent our controller. So let's see how it is done. Now we have discussed till creating the neural network model of our plant. After that we will create a neural network for our controller. So we make use of the feed forward net command. In this we supply the number of layers represented by the number of elements in the matrix and the number of neurons in each of those layers. So we are creating a 515 matrix. So it will represent three layers with the first layer containing five neurons, second will contain one and the third will contain five neurons. Then we are using the command dot layer connect on the network that we have created. So this command is responsible for creating the connection between different layers. So for reading this, select any of the element from this matrix. Let's say I select second row and the first column. It is one. It means that there is a connection to this second layer from the first layer. And it can also be seen from the controller neural network diagram. So there is a connection to the second layer from the first layer and it is represented by this arrow. Let's check another example. Let me select the third row and the second column. It is also one. So it means there should be a connection to the third layer from the second layer, which is also true. So you can also read other connections by using this concept. Then we have our network as closed neural network. We provide a Turing transform function for our controller. Then we specify the delays as two. Make sure that these are same as that already specified for the plant. Then these commands make sure that the training of the neural network plant model does not take place again because we have already trained it. Then we do the same thing to the controller network as we are done with the plant network. We are not dividing the data that we are using nor we are processing it. We supply with the delays of 2. Then we import our reference model and configure our controller network with that model. Then we are importing the weights from our trained plant model to the controller that we are creating. So the NAX net close represents the closed neural network of our plant and we are getting the input weights. So this will represent the weight from this arrow and we are supplying these weights to the layer weights going to the third hidden layer from the second hidden layer which will be represented by this arrow. Similarly, we supply all the weights from the trained plant model to our controller network model. And similarly, biases are also supplied. Initially, we will set the weights going from the first layer to the second layer as zeros. So this will ensure that the first output of our controller will be zero. And then we are viewing our controller network. After that, we prepare our controller network and train it using the train command. After that, we will test our network. So skyline command will create our test data input and then we convert that data input into a sequence as it is a time series network and then obtain the output by supplying the data to the controller network and then finally plotting the results. The plotted results are shown in the figure. So this figure represents that blue line is our reference test input and red line is trying to follow that reference signal.
more accuracy can be obtained by increasing the data points for training or by changing the value of number of hidden layers or the number of hidden layer neurons so that's it everyone this is it for this video hope you like it and please like subscribe and share and thanks for watching